Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing another twofer. That's right, you get two product reviews in one video so you get the most bang for your video watching time. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of convenient little devices that I came across the other day. These may seem like trivial little things, but when you need them, they can really make your life easier and they don't cost a lot of money. First, we're going to look at an inexpensive and compact pen style voltage tester. Then we'll look at a convenient LED magnifying glass. Both of these are small tools that can make your life easier and they make great gifts too since the holiday season is just around the corner. So let's unbox these two guys and see how they perform. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, let me open these guys up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's start off by looking at the little voltage tester first, and then we'll move on to the magnifying glass after that. And I bet you're wondering, what's all this stuff I have over here on this side? Well, this is just to demonstrate that everything you see right here is what this little guy can do. All these tools come in this little guy right here for a lot less money than if you buy all these different things together. So a lot of bulk and cost over here in this little one guy right here. So let's put this aside. We're going to use these later on and I'll show you for demonstration, but we'll put them aside for right now. So this little guy is the Kiwi's VT500 pen style voltage tester available on Amazon. Link in description below. At the time of making this video, this little guy retails for $11.99. But they do have a 30% discount coupon, bringing it down to around 8 bucks. That's really economical right there. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the little voltage tester, you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about how to use it and so forth, and it comes with a AAA battery already installed, because installing it is very simple. It has a little door back here, open it up, put the battery in, and you're ready to go. So this guy comes with a three-year warranty, and the dimensions on it are very compact. You're looking at six inches by three-quarters of an inch by three-quarters of an inch. Very, very small. And it only weighs one ounce. Really small. And if you want to compare the size, there's a Sharpie pen. That tells you exactly how small this little guy is. Easy to carry around in your pocket for any kind of project that you'll be doing. Now, this guy measures from 12 volts to 300 volts. Anything over 20 volts, the screen will turn red and the alarm will sound, warning you that it's high voltage. It has a buzzer alarm that basically will tell you in two different ways what you're looking at. High frequency will tell you that it's high voltage. Low frequency will tell you that it's a null wire. This unit works as a contact and non-contact voltage tester. As a non-contact voltage tester, it'll just tell you if you have a live wire or not. As a contact voltage tester, it'll tell you that you have a live wire and how much voltage is going through it, as I'm going to demonstrate. As a testing for wires, it can tell you whether you have a live wire and continuity tester as well, where basically it'll tell you if you have a broken wire. It has an auto shut off after five minutes, so if you put it down somewhere, forget about it, it'll turn itself off to conserve the battery. It has a very convenient flashlight, pocket clip, and screwdriver tip. As I'll show you, basically you have a very convenient little screwdriver tip right there. You can use it as a screwdriver. It is tight. It will not come loose. It has a convenient little flashlight right there on the tip, as you can see. So if you're working on a dark fuse box or something like that, it'll light it up for you. No trouble at all. And you see right here, you have a nice little pen clip so you can put it in your pocket somewhere, walk around, and have it without having to give you any trouble whatsoever. So very convenient indeed. So this little guy is very convenient for maintenance workers, technicians, DIYers, etc. Easy to carry around in your pocket without having to always have a big bulky multimeter. If you just want to know if you have a live wire and maybe what kind of voltage is going through it, you can check it really quick with this guy. So this little pen voltage tester can be a real time saver and life saver because if you don't have any big bulky tools around, you can have this guy in your pocket and always make sure whether you have a live wire or a null wire. All right, so let's do it a little testing and see how this guy performs. All right, guys, so let's do a little bit of testing with this guy, this little VT500, and see how it performs. But I pulled these guys out again just to give you an example of what I was talking about earlier. These two guys right here are simple contact voltage tester. This is a non-contact voltage tester. I've had these for like 30, 40 years, long time. This is all that was available back in the day. And they're convenient or convenient enough for finding whether you have a live wire when you're doing projects around the house. They basically check AC voltage, they're not for DC. 
This is a non-contact voltage tester. Basically tells you if you have voltage or not. That's all it does. This one cost me around eight or nine bucks, somewhere around there from Harbor Freight. But it only does one job. Tells you if you have a live wire or not. That's it. So this guy costs as much as this guy, but this guy does a lot more. So that's the end of that. These two guys, this guy gives you a rough idea, as you can see on there, how much voltage you have going through it. But you have to use both hands to be able to touch the contacts and find out what's going on. Kind of bothersome. This guy doesn't even tell you how much you have. It just tells you whether you have a live wire or not. Again, you have to use both hands. This guy does a heck of a lot more for a lower cost and hands-free, one hand. All right, I switched over to this angle because the other way I was getting too much glare. But you can see right there, the little LCD screen, you put it close to it and it tells you right there that you have a live wire. Pull it away, it does nothing. Get close, tells you you have a live wire. You want to know if you have a hot wire and how much is going through there. Well, you put it inside there and it tells you you have high voltage and you better be careful, it turns red. Press the voltage button and it tells you right there exactly how much voltage is going through it. So it does the job of all the other ones in a really quick way. All three things from one little pen. So there you go, very convenient right there. All right, so one feature that this guy has is that it says it can test polarity on batteries. Now, most batteries are universal and you know pretty much which side is positive or negative based on the design of the battery, but let's just go with that and test it and see what it can do. One thing I would think is that maybe you can use this not just to test polarity, but to test to see if the battery is good or not. So if you have a battery that's been sitting around that you don't know if it has any power or not, or you don't know if the device you're putting it in is what is defective, you could use it to test out the battery because what you you do is you press the button back here the connect button and you use your body as a conductor so you touch your finger to the negative side and you use this guy touch it to see right there it says pc now when you touch it to the positive side you'll see that it turns red and it tells you that you have polarity right there you see it turns red tells you you have polarity now if it was no good i'll take my finger off and if it was no good it would do nothing at all you see, when it's good, you have polarity, there's electricity, and the, there's power in the battery. And when there's no good, you're going to have nothing at all. So I guess you could use it to test and see if a battery is good or bad. So that's one use for this guy. Now let's test the C continuity in a wire. All right, so another little thing you can use this guy for is testing to see if you have a broken wire. It says testing continuity of a wire. So basically, I have this wire right here. It's one big loop, so I'm holding it down with my hand. And what you do is you use this on a non-charged wire. You don't want any power going through it because you don't want to get hurt. So what you do is you touch one side of the wire with your hand. So you, you're going to use your body as a conductor. And then you press the connect button down here. You see it goes to PC. Now you touch the other side of the wire like that. And you see it says it has current going through it. So there's current running through your body. It's obviously a nominal amount. I don't feel anything at all. But it runs some current through your body telling you that the wire is good. If the wire was no good, then it would do nothing at all. So if I were to put this down on the wire, let's say, and it was over here, it's a broken wire, nothing happens. If the wire is still good, then that happens. So it tells you it's good. So if the wire was running over here and it was broken, it would do nothing at all. So it would tell me I have a broken piece of wire. So there you go. It can help you track down if you have a piece of wire you think it's good and it's actually broken somewhere inside. So there you go. All right, then the next guy we're going to look at is this guy, the Kiwi's three time and six time magnification lamp, also available on Amazon link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $33.99, but they do have a $10 discount coupon on their Amazon page, bringing it down to $23.99. So that's very economical right there. This guy also comes with a three year warranty. So this guy has three time and six time magnification. The biggest part is three time and it has a little tiny area right there that is six time magnification and the lens is actually made up of high quality acrylic material which i was surprised when i first opened it i thought it was glass but it's actually acrylic and it has really good quality to it i've had some plastic ones in the past and they're really really bad this guy comes with 18 leds for illumination and it has three light modes you can set it at 50 percent 
75% and 100%. It has a touch sensitive button. We're right here on the base and I'll show you in a little bit. It has a touch sensitive button where all you do is touch it and it goes through the different light modes on and off and through the different light modes. It has a five foot USB power cable, which is very convenient because you can use it to plug it in just about anywhere you want. And you can go mobile because you can plug it into a power bank and take it anywhere you want. It has a two-in-one clip design where basically you can clip it onto a table, anything up to about two inches in thickness, and it comes with a base also. So if you don't want to clip it onto something, it clips onto the base and you can stand it up on top of a table, desk, anywhere you want to use it. The lamp itself is very lightweight. I weighed it and it only comes in at 0.8 pounds, so eight tenths of a pound. The base itself is 1.13 pounds, so it's heavy enough to hold up the lamp without any trouble, as I'll demonstrate in a moment. It has a flexible metal gooseneck that rotates 360 degrees around and really flattens out really far, as I'll demonstrate. The full length of the lamp itself is 24 inches, but I did a little bit of testing right now, right before I started shooting, and I'll show you in a moment. If you bend it over as far as you can go without it tipping over, you can go up to 16 inches away from the base. So from the base, whatever project you're doing, you can extend out up to 16 inches, which is pretty darn good. That's a really good reach for such a small lamp. So this lamp is really useful for DIY projects of every type. For sewing, intricate repairs, model building, circuit board repair, soldering, painting miniatures, jewelry making, crafts, etc. So let's take a little look at this guy and see how it performs also. All right, guys, there you have a view of the lamp and you see what it looks like when you have it mounted on a desk, a tabletop, something like that, and you're going to be using it. And to turn it on, like I said, it just has a little touch button right there that is very easy to do. All you do is touch it and you rotate through the different light modes. As you see, that is your maximum light mode right there. And then you turn it off as well. So it's on, off, and rotate through the different light modes. Very convenient right there. No big, heavy, bulky button to be pushing down all the time. And like I said, it has a nice little metal gooseneck to it. If you want to extend it out really, really far, let me show you. That shows you right there how far you can extend it out. And continuing from the base to the center of the lens there, I calculated that to be about 16 inches. So that tells you that you can do quite a large project under here and still be able to use this lamp very conveniently for whatever it is that you're looking at. I got this lamp for doing intricate things like circuit board repair and, you know, soldering and things like that, which sometimes can be really, really small and hard to see. And we're going to look through the lens right now and see exactly how the magnification works. But as far as the lighting and the LED, it does a really decent job. You can see right there, that's very bright. The camera may attenuate the light a little bit, but it's actually quite bright. In fact, let me turn off the lights and I'll show you how bright it is. Okay, I stood it back up to its normal height so you can see the lighting mode a little bit better. So all the lights are turned off right now in the room right here. And this is the only light production right here. So let's see, right there it's off. Then you have low, medium, and high. And that is the highest that it produces. So that's quite a powerful light when you have nothing else around you or you have some light that you want to focus on a specific area to do your work. So it's very bright. Now let's look through the lens. Now, one cool thing that this light has before we move on to looking through the lens is that it has a slot right here in the base that it says is for putting in your cell phone and stuff like that. I mean, for some people that may be convenient. Personally, I think it's more convenient to use it as to hold up uh, any written material that you may need. Like if you need assembly instructions, repair instructions, anything like that, you just place it on there. And you see basically it holds it up for you and it lights it up for you at the same time. If you're doing some work right here and you need instructions as to what you're doing, it's super convenient to look at the owner's manual, look at the instructions, and do the repair at the same time. So that's very, very convenient right there. All right, so I printed up something real quick just to give you an idea of what it looks like looking through the lens. You can see it's a very nice, sharp, clear lens. It actually looks like a piece of glass instead of acrylic. And you can see the normal size over here and the magnified side over there. Obviously, it is very, very difficult to shoot with a camera looking through a lens like this because it's just hard to focus it and get the magnification right and all that kind of stuff. The human eye is much more adaptable. And for magnifying through the human eye, you could put it closer, further, whatever you want, and get more or less magnification as you need it. But this gives you an idea of what it looks like. 
All right, guys, there you have it. Two very convenient and inexpensive devices that can be very useful in your everyday life. A compact and inexpensive voltage tester that works as a non-contact tester, a high voltage tester, and a voltage meter all in one for under 10 bucks. The magnifying lens is also a very convenient tool. It's compact, lightweight, and runs on USB, so it can go anywhere you need it very easily. Even places that have no power, since it can be powered up using a battery bank. Whether you use it for crafts, intricate repair, reading small printed material, or anything at all, it works really great because it has a really clear lens. It has multiple uses, and it's also very inexpensive. Get them for yourself or as a gift. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.